Good evening and welcome to NAU Said Yes Days. We're so excited to have you joining us today. My name is Lauren Rosales, Manager for High School Relations within University Admissions at NAU. Today we'll be talking about everything NAU and then we'll have some of our current students joining us for a student panel. If you have any questions you'd like our students to address, please email those to admissions at nau.edu. NAU is committed to the success and safety of all of our students, faculty, staff, and the Flagstaff community. We've taken several steps to ensure the health and safety of all. We've implemented mass requirements and daily health checks for students, faculty, and staff. We also offered COVID testing on campus free of charge. In this presentation and various videos, you will see students that are not wearing masks or social distancing. We wanted to showcase what campus was like pre-pandemic. NAU is located in Flagstaff, which I like to say is Arizona's coolest city because we've never hit 100 degrees. We are at an elevation of 7,000 feet in the largest contiguous ponderosa pine forest in the world. So we do get all four seasons, including about 100 inches of snow. We do get about 264 days of sunshine. Lots of great things for you to do in Flagstaff and the surrounding community. The city of Flagstaff has a permanent population of about 75,000. So you have that small town feel, but those big city amenities. If you're wanting to explore the area, downtown Flagstaff is about a five minute walk from campus. We also do have a lot of restaurants and eateries you can enjoy. Now, if you're venturing outside of Flagstaff, the Grand Canyon is about 90 minutes away. The Red Rocks of Sedona are about 45 minutes away. So you really can enjoy the beautiful area that Northern Arizona is. A little bit about your university. We were founded as a teaching college in 1899, and we've grown a lot since then. On campus and Flagstaff, we do have uh, our undergraduate population of about 21,000 students. So we are considered a large university, but we definitely maintain that small college town feel, college campus feel, I mean. Um, our campus is about a mile and a half long, half a mile wide, so you can get to and from your classes in a quick amount of time. If you wanted to walk to campus uh, from off campus, you definitely can. You can also take the bus, ride a bike, or take one of our many pedways around. Academic success is very important to us and we definitely are very uh, focused on your uh, success at the university. We want to make sure you have the resources available to you um, to really get the experience that you're looking for in a four-year university. NAU is an undergraduate focused institution with over 1,100 full-time faculty dedicated to you any time of the day. We have an average class size of 35 students and a student to faculty ratio of 19 to one. All of our faculty members are required to have office hours, which is time dedicated to you outside of the classroom. You can definitely utilize them for any of your questions or concerns um, or just talk to them about their career. We have 97 undergraduate degree programs to choose from, but if you're already thinking ahead and you wanna go on to your master's degree, we do have over 60 master's programs, including 16 accelerated master's programs. A lot of great options for you. In addition to the great programs we offer, we also have research opportunities, career development resources, and various internship and career options for you um, as well. Getting involved in campus is very important um, as an undergraduate student. We have over 400 different clubs and organizations you can be a part of. Some of those clubs are going to be related to your academic area, future career, or maybe just a hobby or interest of yours. We're constantly adding new organizations on campus. So if you don't see a club that you'd like to join, you can always start your own very easily. In addition to the great organizations that we do have on campus, we're also very committed to our diversity and inclusion. We have our Office of Inclusion, Multicultural and LGBTQIA Student Services that provides various support and resources for um, various students. We also are an emerging Hispanic serving institution with almost 25% of our students identifying as Hispanic. And we do have over 100 Native American tribes represented on campus. We do have our Native American Cultural Center as well as our Office of Indigenous Student Success. We are committed to providing predictability for our cost of attendance. We do have three different uh, tuition rates for our students, depending on your residency. If you are an Arizona resident, you'll see the tuition rate there, WUI and non-resident listed as well. For all of our additional costs that we want you to consider, that would include your mandatory fees, housing and meal plan, books and supplies. So do keep that in mind. You'll see all of the estimates when you receive your financial aid package. 
If you're part of the Western Undergraduate Exchange or WUI, you are a resident of one of these yellow highlighted states or territories. This means that you'll receive a discounted tuition rate from our Arizona tuition rate. Right now, our WUI tuition rate is just under 16,000. This applies to all of our programs on our Flagstaff campus. There's no separate application. It is automatic for you. Looking into some of our different scholarships, we do want to make sure that you are uh, aware of how you can pay for your education. Our first scholarship um, that we'll talk about today is our Lumberjack Scholars Award. This is for Arizona residents only. In the 16 core classes we look at for admissions, we are also using those for scholarship consideration. The Lumberjack Scholarship requires students to have a 3.5 unweighted core GPA, no letter grade lower than a B, and no deficiencies. Students can be eligible for this scholarship with up to one retake. We will automatically consider you for this scholarship when you apply to the university. This is a full tuition scholarship valued at over $40,000 over four years. Then we do have our other merit-based scholarships depending on your unweighted core GPA and your residency. So you'll see the GPA requirement and again, automatic consideration for these scholarships. You typically will be awarded one of these scholarships if eligible within four weeks of being admitted to the university. If you have any questions about your scholarship eligibility, feel free to reach out to your admissions representative. So some of you are in different steps in your next steps. You might have just been admitted to NAU. You might have accepted your offer way back uh, in over the summer. Regardless of where you are, we are here to help you. If you decide you want to become a lumberjack and you'd like to accept your offer and attend at the university, your first step would be to pay your enrollment deposit of $250. When you pay your enrollment deposit, it does take about 24 to 48 hours for your payment to process before you can begin your next steps. If you're deciding to live on campus though, then you can apply for housing. Next, you can complete your priority enrollment. This is where you make an academic profile, indicating some of your preferences for classes, changing your major, and making notes for your advisor. Then you'll complete orientation over the summer. This will be auto registered for you, so you don't need to take any action to get involved with orientation. Once you graduate from high school, make sure you do send us your final high school transcript that includes your graduation date, as well as providing your immunization records. Again, if you do have any questions, your admissions representative is happy to help you, like myself, and we're excited to have you consider being a lumberjack. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to take a short break, and then we will have some of our current students here to ask questions or to answer questions that you've submitted today. Go Jack! This is Northern Arizona University. It's the one with the mountain, the pines, the dome, the lumberjacks. It's the one on the mother road with a hundred years of tradition, which looks like this, that, or this. A unique place where you can learn here or here. It's really beautiful, I love it. It's a community that cares. Cause that's what lumberjacks are. See, NAU helps people who can look at microorganisms and see global impacts. People who understand helping one person walk moves us all forward. That opportunity is the only thing that can limit achievement. Lumberjacks stand together, passing traditions onto the next generation, sharing the stuff we love, the moments we remember. It's the pride that shapes the university, that shapes us. This is Northern Arizona University. We are proud, we are loyal, we are Lumberjacks. Welcome back everyone. We're gonna get started with our student panel. We have two of our True Blue Ambassadors here today to answer your questions. I'll have each of them introduce themselves. Abby, we'll start with you. Hi, my name is Abby. I am an exercise science major on campus with a minor in nutrition. I'm a sophomore this year and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Hi everyone, my name is Justin. I am a uh, junior here studying secondary ed history with a minor in political science. I'm from Surprise, Arizona, and my pronouns are he, him, and his. Great, so one of my favorite questions to start out with is why did you choose NAU? Yeah, so um, NAU is in Northern Arizona, obviously, <laughs> um, and it's actually one of my favorite vacation spots growing up, and when I found out that there was a college campus up here with a great scholarship opportunity, I grabbed it, and here I am, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, I chose NAU um, mainly because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I think a lot of students can find themselves in that situation, and so I actually ran into one of my high school history teachers, 
And he said, you should become an educator. Um, NAU has a great program for that. And so I looked online and I just fell in love with the campus. And so now I'm here. Awesome, great, thank you so much for sharing. So one of the questions that we received is how is college different from high school? Justin, do you wanna start with that one? Yeah, so I think that college is just a lot more of um, independence from high school. No one is gonna be holding your hand, no one is going to be telling you when assignments are late or due. Um, and I think that just really helped me mature, um, especially since Let's be honest, in high school, you could get away with not doing an assignment, but in college, that's not gonna happen. And I think that's one big difference that I really appreciate from college to high school. Um, for me, I would say just not having to be at class from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every single day. Um, you kind of get to choose your own schedule, which is so beautiful in my opinion, because um, it's a time in your life when you really get to pick and choose what you want to do with your life and what brings you happiness and joy, you get to integrate into your schedule. So if you really hate math, you might be able to get out of it. <laughs> so you both mentioned that you're involved. What are some of those activities that you're involved in on campus? Abby, we'll start with you. Um, so I like to attend a lot of events that are put on by my residence hall. Um, I also go to a lot of the group fitness classes that we have on campus. And I got a job on campus so that I could also meet some of my peers. Um, without, or also with having a job on campus, I like to be involved in a lot of the clubs that are on campus. We have about 350 of them. And so I believe that once a week, I would try to go to one, uh, one new club. So I joined the chess club. I joined uh, Circle K International, which is a volunteer organization. I went into the physics club, even though that's not my major. That was really fun. Um, so yeah, I just think clubs are a great way to be involved on campus. And there's always something new for you inside the clubs. Excellent. So one of the questions that we received is, what is something, what is some advice that you would give your high school senior self if you could go back in time? Um, I'll go first. So I, I would tell my high school self to say yes. Say yes to things that kind of make you feel a little like, oh, um, that's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, just because I learned a lot about myself once I came to college and became friends with people who were very outgoing um, and that was a new experience for me. So just say yes, meet new people, try new activities, it's great. I think one thing I would tell my high school self is to not be afraid to ask for help. I think in high school there's a stigma of if you ask for help then you're not smart or you're struggling. Um, it's actually the opposite in college. If you don't ask for help or if you ask for help then you're typically the strongest student in all of your classes, you're typically getting the better grades. Um, and I wish I knew that early on, so that way I wasn't struggling as much as I could have been um, if I had asked for help sooner. Awesome, great advice for us all. So one of the questions that came through is, do you feel safe on campus? Justin, we'll start with you with this question. Uh, yeah, I totally feel safe on campus. I go to Klein Library um, all the time, and I typically do homework until 2 a.m., and then I still live on campus, so I have to walk back to my residence hall. I have never felt unsafe on campus, and we even have the NAU alert system, so if something's going on in the area, NAU PD um, messages you on your phone and saying, hey, please stay clear of this area, there's something going on. Um, so I always look at that before I leave the library, and nine times out of 10, there is nothing going on on campus, um, and we have the blue light systems here on campus that contact NAU PD right then and there. Um, I as well feel extremely safe on campus. Um, I've never had an incident where I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit unsure about this. Um, we also have a really good resource. Um, people, you can contact the NAU walk system and someone will come and pick you up. Either if it's really cold, they might bring a car, but normally they just walk to where you are and then you'll walk, they'll walk you home. Awesome, perfect. Um, so Abby, you mentioned a car. One of the questions that came through is, do you need to bring a car to campus? So I'll <laughs> start back with you. Yeah, so that's actually a really funny question because I did bring a car my first year and I think I used it twice. <laughs> um, so it really just depends on the student. If you know you're gonna go all around Northern Arizona hiking and doing all the different outdoor activities, then a car might be best suited for you. However, uh, we have such a great bus system on campus that I just never really used it, so. Yeah, and I did not bring a car on campus, um, and I didn't notice anything otherwise. Um, we have Target, 
that's right next to campus. We have Walmart that a bus will take you to. Um, so if you need to do your grocery shopping or anything like that, then that's how you can do that. Um, it also takes you downtown. So I've never felt like I needed a car on campus and I'm really, I'm really glad that I didn't bring a car on campus. Awesome, perfect. What are some of your favorite things to do in Flagstaff? Abby, we'll go to you. <laughs> I love to go downtown, um, whether if it's just with some friends or even by myself and kind of go through the little shops. Um, I also like to check out a lot of our local coffee shops that we have around town and hang out on campus with my friends. For me, it would probably be the hiking systems here in Flagstaff. We have so many of them. I always try to do at least one once a month. Um, and that's just a great way to meet people and get involved. Um, that's actually how I met a few of my buddies is just by hiking and then we got caught up and said, oh, I'm in, I'm in NNU too. And so then now we have like a group chat that we do and it's just like, hey, I'm going to this hiking trail. Do you want to come? And so that's just really cool. Awesome. Perfect. So one of the questions that we did receive um, from our audience is, do you have any time management tips that you'd like to share? Justin, we'll go start with you. Yes, um, get a planner. It is the best thing that you could ever do. Um, it just helps organize everything. Um, I like to co uh, color coordinate everything. So my political science classes are in yellow. My history classes are in red. And it just gives me an idea of what I need to be doing each and every day. Um, and if I have a free day, then that just helps um, organize it too. Um, I would recommend just kind of building yourself a schedule. So what time you wake up, uh, kind of have an idea of what time you're going to be able to eat your meals. That way you're still eating because sometimes you can get a little bit hectic with homework. Um, and just make sure that you know what needs to be done in the day and around what time and how long it's going to take. All right, perfect. Um, so moving, about, uh, moving on campus, um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience living on campus um, and eating on campus? Abby, we'll start with you. Um, so I lived in one of the residence halls called Allen, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, I made some of my best friends on campus. They were actually just two doors down and it was absolutely a blast. We would host little family dinners where we would cook little meals for each other. Um, and living on campus was probably the best experience that I've ever had because you meet so many people um, that are in similar majors than you, but you also meet people that are different majors than you. And I think you just grow so much as a person. I am a junior and I still live on campus. I still have a meal plan. Um, it's just because it's just so great. Um, your, all your classes are on campus. The food is right there. The hotspot, I mean, that's just one of the greatest facilities here on campus. I go there pro pretty much every day. Um, so yeah, I think living on campus is just still a great way. It's a great way to meet people, just like Abby said. Um, and so if you can, I highly recommend it. Um, and even try it for more than just your first year here at NAU. Awesome. So one thing that we haven't really talked about is the weather in Flagstaff, which we have people joining us from all over. Can you talk a little bit about what Flagstaff weather is like? I know we got some snow in the recent weeks. Um, Justin, let's uh, start with you. Talk about the weather. Yeah, I absolutely love the weather here. I grew up in Phoenix, so, you know, it's 120 pretty much every other day. Um, so when I came out to Flagstaff and it was a crisp, you know, 74, that was just really fantastic. And as Lauren said, we do have snow. Um, that's really fun. I typically try to go outside and play in the snow as much as I can, um, but then I get really cold, so then I just go back inside. Um, but there's, the weather here is just absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I have to agree with Justin. Coming from Tucson, where it's also like 120 every single day, um, being in Flagstaff, where there's a true winter, it's kind of insane to me because... I didn't realize how many layers <laughs> you want when it snows until recently, but I would not trade it. I love the snow. Glad to hear you both love snow. I know I love the snow as well. So our next question is, what has been your favorite class at NAU? Justin, we'll start with you. Yeah, so I'm a history education major. So basically my degree is half history, half education. Um, and I think my favorite class that I've ever taken is my History 206 class, which is my practicum class. I actually got to go into the classroom. I got to see what a teacher does on a daily basis. I got to work side by side with the teacher and I even got to teach a lesson to her actual students. So that was just a great way to allow me to see what my major entails and it just made me fall in love with it so much more. 
Um, my favorite class was definitely Intro to Exercise Science. I mean, I feel a little bit shocking considering I'm an exercise science major, but um, I just absolutely loved it. It was kind of like a little survey course, so we got to learn um, just little bits and pieces of everything in our major, and it made me just fall in love with my major all over again. So I also uh, really loved that it was a difficult class, and I went to office hours, and I spent a lot of time with that teacher, um, which was so helpful, not just because I got to know one of my professors, but I also just got to understand the content so much more. Awesome. Makes me want to go and be in those classes as well. Um, so I know a lot of questions, um, you know, surround scholarships. Can you talk about some of the scholarships that we have at NAU and maybe what you have um, as well? Justin, we'll start with you. Yeah. So I have the Dean Scholarship. It's about $5,000 per academic year. Um, so it really did take off a huge chunk of what I owed. Um, and then with other scholarships, you know, you can just apply to those, which really help in the long run. Um, I did have to still pay for, you know, my housing and my books. But if you really put the money aside and work towards it, it's not that bad as it may seem. Yeah, um, I personally have the Lumberjack Scholarship here on campus, which is uh, full tuition. So I still have to pay my housing and books and everything. But uh, we also have many other scholarship opportunities, whether that's through your actual college that you're in, or if you just go through the private donor scholarship list, which it's really nice that NAU kind of has that, so you can go through and see what the requirements are for each scholarship, and then just apply to what you can. Awesome, perfect. A lot of great resources on our website for scholarships um, and everything like that. So we, I know we talked about that a little earlier, but definitely uh, resources, resources, resources. So we have time for one more question. Our last question is, what is your favorite thing about NAU? I know we talked about why you chose NAU. Well, what is your favorite thing about NAU now that you're here? Abby, we'll start with you. I think my favorite thing about NAU is how much the professors really care about students because um, if you are ever struggling in a class, um, they just say, hey, come to office hours, we'll help you out, or they'll reach out and they'll be like, don't forget about our supplementary instruction, or we all call them SI sessions. Um, they'll help get in contact with the tutoring services and kind of connect you with them too. So I just, I love the amount of support that NAU has for us. Yeah, I think it's just the amount of resources that we have. We have so many departments, admissions being one of them. Um, but if you have financial struggles, then financial aid can help you. If you have um, transportation issues, then the, off or the Department of Transportation with the bus systems can help you um, and help you understand how they run. If you are a first generation student, we have the Office of First Gen. It's just so many resources. And I think if you ever have an issue, then you know that there's a department here on campus that just really helps um, you. Perfect. I want to thank you both for joining us today and sharing great experiences about being lumberjacks. Now join us tomorrow for some great information about housing and residence life in our residential colleges for day two of NAU Said Yes. Thank you so much.